Yellowstone National Park is home to some of the most breathtaking natural wonders in the world. From its iconic geysers and hot springs to its abundant wildlife and stunning landscapes, Yellowstone has captured the imagination of adventurers, nature lovers, and scientists alike. But beneath its serene beauty lies a hidden danger that has the potential to destroy everything in its path, the largest magma chamber in North America. How big is it? Well, strap in, because we're about to take a journey to the heart of Yellowstone to uncover the secrets of its supervolcano and explore just how big the magma chamber beneath this national park really is. Our investigation begins with a look at the very structure of our planet. The Earth's interior is composed of several distinct layers, each with its unique properties and characteristics. The outermost layer is the crust, which is relatively thin and rigid compared to the layers that lie beneath it. Beneath the crust is the mantle, a thick layer of hot, dense rock that extends deep into the Earth's interior, and at the Earth's core lies the inner core, a solid sphere of iron and nickel. Yellowstone's magma chamber is located within the mantle, specifically in the lithospheric mantle, the uppermost part of the mantle that is rigid enough to behave like a solid. Despite being incredibly hot, this layer is important because it contains the Earth's crust and determines the shape of the continents and ocean basins. What makes Yellowstone's magma chamber so special is its sheer size. It is one of the largest known magma chambers in the world. Scientists estimate that it spans an area of over 43,000 square miles, which is even bigger than the entire state of Vermont. And while the exact depth of the magma chamber is unknown, it is believed to extend several miles beneath the surface. To put this into perspective, the largest known magma chamber outside of Earth's core is the Tamu Massif, located in the Shatsky Rise region of the Northwest Pacific Ocean. This massive magma chamber has an estimated volume of around 1 million cubic kilometers, which is equivalent to the entire water volume of Lake Ontario, one of the Great Lakes in North America. However, the volume of Yellowstone's magma chamber remains uncertain due to the difficulty in measuring such vast subterranean structures. Scientists have used various techniques such as seismic tomography, gravity measurements, and magnetic surveys to create a three-dimensional model of the magma chamber. These studies have revealed a complex network of interconnected magma reservoirs that vary in size and depth. The main magma chamber is roughly oval-shaped and is situated between 6 and 12 miles below the surface. It is surrounded by smaller satellite magma chambers that are connected by feeder dikes, narrow vertical channels through which magma can flow. Together, these magma chambers form a vast underground plumbing system that extends over an area of approximately 43,000 square miles, making it one of the largest known magma chambers in the world. To better understand the scale of Yellowstone's magma chamber, consider the following comparisons. The area of the magma chamber is larger than the entire state of Vermont, which has a total area of approximately 30,000 square miles. The depth of the magma chamber is also impressive, ranging from 6 to 12 miles below the surface. That's deeper than the Mariana Trench, the deepest known part of the Earth's crust, which reaches a maximum depth of nearly 11,100 meters, or about 7 miles. The volume of Yellowstone's magma chamber is currently unknown, but it is estimated to be substantial given its size and depth. For context, the largest known magma chamber outside of Earth's core is the Tamu Massif, which has an estimated volume of 1 million cubic kilometers. While Yellowstone's magma chamber may not be as large as Tamu Massif, it is still one of the largest known magma chambers on Earth and is certainly a significant geological feature. But why is Yellowstone's magma chamber so big? The answer lies in the unique location of the park. Yellowstone sits atop a hotspot, a region of unusually high volcanic activity. This hotspot is caused by a plume of hot mantle rock that originates deep within the Earth's core and extends all the way to the surface. As the North American tectonic plate moves over this hotspot, it melts the rock in the lithospheric mantle, creating magma that rises to the surface. 
Over millions of years, this process has created a vast magma chamber beneath Yellowstone National Park. The consequences of this immense magma chamber are far-reaching. The heat from the magma chamber has created geothermal features such as geysers, hot springs and fumaroles, which are some of Yellowstone's most iconic features. The park is home to more than 10,000 hydrothermal features, including the world's tallest active geyser, Steamboat Geyser. The abundance of geothermal activity makes Yellowstone a unique and popular destination for tourists from around the world. However, the magma chamber's presence also poses a significant risk. If the magma were to escape, it could cause a catastrophic eruption that would have devastating consequences for the surrounding area. The last major eruption of the Yellowstone supervolcano occurred 640,000 years ago and sent 2,400 cubic kilometers of ash and debris into the air. An eruption of that magnitude today would have a global impact on climate and agriculture. Fortunately, scientists closely monitor Yellowstone to identify any signs of increased activity that could indicate an impending eruption. One of the main reasons for the size of Yellowstone's magma chamber is its location above a mantle plume. A mantle plume is a narrow, vertically extensive column of hot rock that originates in the Earth's core and extends into the lithosphere. Mantle plumes are created by convection currents in the Earth's mantle, which is the layer of hot, dense rock between the Earth's core and crust. As the mantle rock heats up near the core, it becomes less dense and rises toward the surface. As it rises, it drags cooler rock with it, creating a convection current. Over time, these convection currents can form tall columns of hot rock, known as mantle plumes. When a mantle plume reaches the base of the lithospheric mantle, it can begin to melt the rock above it, creating magma that can pool in the magma chamber. The continuous supply of heat from the mantle plume can keep the magma chamber filled with molten rock, contributing to its size. In the case of Yellowstone, the mantle plume is thought to be the primary driver of magma production and the growth of the magma chamber. Studies have shown that the plume is over 600 kilometers wide and extends more than 1,600 kilometers deep into the mantle. The heat from the plume has been responsible for the formation of Yellowstone's distinctive geothermal features, such as geysers, hot springs, and mud pots. It is also the driving force behind the park's volcanic activity. Another factor that contributes to the size of Yellowstone's magma chamber is its location at the intersection of three tectonic plates. The North American Plate, the Pacific Plate, and the Philippine Sea Plate all converge in the region, creating a complex and active fault system. This means that there are multiple pathways for magma to travel from the mantle plume to the surface, allowing for the formation of a more extensive magma chamber. The movement of these plates also creates stress and heat, which can trigger volcanic activity and contribute to the growth of the magma chamber. Yellowstone's magma chamber is a truly remarkable geological feature that continues to fascinate scientists and adventurers alike. Its immense size and location atop a mantle plume and at the intersection of three tectonic plates make it a unique and powerful force of nature. While the threat of a catastrophic eruption looms, the beauty and wonder of Yellowstone's geothermal features serve as a reminder of the incredible power and majesty of the natural world. Whether you are a nature lover, a thrill seeker, or simply someone who appreciates the wonders of science, Yellowstone is a place that will leave you in awe and inspire you to learn more about the amazing planet we call home. As we continue to explore and learn more about Yellowstone's magma chamber, we can expect to uncover even more fascinating insights into the inner workings of our planet. So be sure to stay tuned for future updates and discoveries from this incredible national park. But what do you think? How big do you think Yellowstone's magma chamber is? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more amazing science videos. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.